how's it going guys just a quick update we did hit 100 subscribers we thank you guys very much uh we didn't get we didn't think we we're gonna hit it right away but we did you know given three weeks just us being on youtube we do have more vlogs coming we do have more cooking coming we have quite a few to upload still and all of us just want to say thank you for 100 and stay tuned uh monday monday we're gonna give you guys up until monday to keep commenting and then after monday it'll be close and then we'll be doing the drawing like we said we're gonna be giving away we're gonna be drawing three names so we're gonna have three prizes so the prizes is gonna be spam powder eggs just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no prizes are gonna be uh a couple of things we have in mind that we're gonna get from san carlos mm -hmm. um you know some back from the apache reservation we're gonna get one of those quite a few things uh it's not dollar tree items so you guys don't worry about it but monday is gonna be the last day we're gonna close it up and then we're gonna do the drawing next week along with the video and if we select your name during that video we're gonna leave my email in the description and if you can email me your address and we'll go ahead and get that shipped out to you guys and you know as a family Yazi family we all want to say thank you for watching and thank you for being part of our lives and letting us be a part of your entertainment and just be patient we got videos coming on we got to do some edits and we got more videos like i said yes thank you so much for subscribing commenting if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much once again thank you for liking and subscribing and watching our videos it means a lot to us and yeah <laughs> Alrighty, thank you Good evening everyone welcome back to Yazi family vlogs and cooking we got a another special episode here today um i'm not doing cooking again this is like the second time so i got a break but uh my wife sue will be making dinner tonight and she's got something special and it's a big 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 family favorite to us navajos in the house and I'll let her tell you what it is. Hey guys. Um, I'll be making dinner tonight. Um, I'm Sue. So for dinner, I am going to be making acorn dumplings. And it consists of just meat grounded acorn, which we, um, us Apaches, we call it Apache gold because we, um, we go out, we pick them, we ground it with the shell on and then we clean it. Then when all the shells are cleaned out, we take the inside and we ground it up until it turns into the powdery sus um, substance you see right there. The first step, uh, well, I'm going to use this pot to make the dumplings in it, and I'm going to fill it up about, fill the water up about halfway. And then I'm going to turn on the stove and put it on the stove. And while that's heating up, I'm going to be um, cutting up the meat. Mm. 
Now I'm just dicing up the meat. And the only seasoning this is gonna have is salt. So when I'm done with this, we're gonna add it into the water and just let it boil. And we'll show you the next step after the meat is done boiling. Now all the meat is diced up and we're gonna add it to the water now. Oh dear. Now that the meat's in the water, we're gonna let it um, boil. So we're gonna start counting the boiling or when the water starts boiling. We're gonna start counting from there. We're gonna put the lid on and let it cook for an hour. And then we'll come, come back and show you the next step. Okay, now we have um, some flour in a bowl. It's probably about maybe two and a half cups. So this mixture is for the dumplings. For this, it's just going to be flour and salt, a little bit of salt, and mix it up. And you add the water and just start mixing. This is my way, how I make my acorn dumplings for my family. I'm sure um, people make theirs different, but this is just my way. And we all love it. So after this dough comes together, I'm gonna turn them into balls and then start making, start making the dumplings. Now it's the dumpling making part. Um, the flour I had, I made them um, into five balls. So I'm gonna get one of these and make sure your surface is floured. I'm just gonna roll it out. Then from this, I'm going to start, just grab one of the strips and start stretching. And then just tear it off and add it to the water. keep doing this until all the dough is all used up. And then when all the dough rises to the top, it means that it's done. So when all of this is in there, we're gonna 
turn off the stove and just let it sit for let's maybe 10 minutes and then we're gonna start adding the acorn in so that's all it is people do their dumplings different it's just flour and salt and water this is how I was taught All right, here's another way you can also um, get your dumplings or make your dumplings. Just poke a hole in the middle of the dough and then just start rolling. And you just stretch it and stretch it. Right there, there's lots of tear. Then you just stretch it until you get it thin enough. I don't like my dumplings really thick. So this is how other people, some people do theirs. But I find it easier making it the other way. But this is just one way to show you guys. As you can probably see it's thicker too. People that make this all the time are pros at it. I make it like once or twice a month. But there's no perfect way of doing it. This is just my way. Now we added all the dumplings so I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes and when 10 minutes is up I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to turn off the stove and just let it sit on the side for another 10 minutes and then we'll add the acorn. Now it's time to mix up the acorn that we're going to add to the water and then you're gonna mix it up to make like a thick paste 
And I like to do this because if you just dump the whole acorn in there, it tends to clump up. And you end up with um, like balls of acorn in there. So this is what I like to do. Just mix it until the acorn mixes with the water. Try to get all the lumps out. And when you're done, you just bring it over here. And you just pour it all in. And then you just mix it up. If you want more, you can add more acorn. But that's just how much you want it to taste because the taste of acorn is really bitter. So there it is, acorn dumpling. Okay, now that she has gotten done making this delicious looking acorn stew, as you can see some of the bits and pieces on the dumpling, we're going to have Josiah test this out. He wanted to be the first, so here he is. It's really good. You can really taste the acorns. The uh, dumplings is really good with it. The meat's perfect. I highly recommend that you guys try this. <laughs> Not bad for a Navajo eating acorn stew, right? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the Yazi family of uh, vlogs and cooking and hit the notifications and you have a good day today.